Okay, we're live in five, four. Wait, what? We're live now? Oh, nuggets. Um, hello and welcome to another Minecraft Weekly News with your hospitable hosts, Toby and David. The Mojang team are partying like wild things this week, from Capiche trying to juggle his music loyalty, Notch finally growing up and doing man things, and Moltstam relating the tale of how they got rowdy in a karaoke bar. You know that indie game Minecraft? Yeah, that's the one. Have you bought it? Well, if you have, you're now one of 8 million people who have. That gargantuan number was released by Owen on Monday. That's more sales than for Guild Wars 2, Quake and the first two Diablos. When asked to comment, Jeb said, I can't think of anything clever to say, it's simply amazing. Notch, on the other hand, said this, sending the internet nutcases and conspiracy theorists grabbing for their thinking caps. Who wants a free Dell Ultrabook? I know I surely do, but out of the kindness of my heart, I'm sharing this contest with you too. Intel have teamed up with Mojang and Multiplay, the server hosting company, to bring you a great competition. In keeping with the Minecon Paris theme, you've been asked to build the Eiffel Tower somewhere new and interesting. Only 500 lucky builders will be offered the chance to enter the competition, and only one of those will win the Ultrabook, so it's a close call, but who knows? Check the link below for more details and rules, or simply watch this space for the results. Now, there's only one thing better than Minecraft cakes, and that's stackable Minecraft cakes. Yes, that is one of the features in the next Minecraft Xbox patch out yesterday. There's been a host of new option features for your brains, including options to clear the hotbar, to enable and disable bedrock fog, to make HUD disappear. However, and I'm sure this is the bit you're waiting for, cakes are now stackable, golden apples and pumpkins are now craftable, and there's a super useful how-to page as well. Last week's prophecy and promises have come to pass. Minecraft Pocket Edition version 0.5.0 is out and available for update if you've already bought the app of course. App Store, Google Play or Amazon is there for the taking and additions include zombie pigment, nether reactors and glowstone, as well as several infuriating bugs being fixed. All the links you'll need for your pocket mining joy are below. In update land today, PC players get 1.4.4, but if you've been playing with a nice and stable pre-release over the past week, you'll not notice any difference to be quite honest. Your client will offer you the update when you start up as normal. The primary changes to the client are bug and crash fixes so we can game gremlin free. Check out the Minecraft wiki link below for the full changelog. We're off to Minecon 2012 next week, and both of us are looking forward to it immensely, and especially the prospect of seeing some of you guys there, although this does mean there may well not be a weekly news next week. If you can't make it, GameSpot will be streaming the events online, which is awesome. We'll be carrying our trusty camera about with us, so expect Toby and David vlogs on this very channel, hopefully during, but definitely after the weekend is out, so make sure you're subscribed. Let us know if you're going to be at Minecon in the comments, or on our Facebook page in the links below. Whoop whoop! Okay, is that it? Are we done? What? There's an outro? Oh, fine. That's the end. Blah, blah, blah. Click here for last week's news, yada, yada, and here for next week's news. Check out the Facebook page and this and that and the other. And now we're out of here. See you later, suckers. We love you. Yeah.